Hey guys, Steve here. So what I'd like to offer today is another lesson on um, comping and how to get deeper with comping. So uh, lately I've been um, revisiting one of my favorite records, the Pat Metheny 2000 Trio record with Bill Stewart, who's one of my favorite drummers. And I'm noticing how much he's had a direct impact on my playing. Um, and so I, I just have a lot of gratitude for him not only in sol soloing, but also in the way that he orchestrates with independence his comping ideas. And that's sort of what I want to talk about. So um, when I play kind of dense, fast patterns, uh, there can be a lot of information. some independence ideas to work the cobweb so that I can actually be of most benefit to interaction. So independence doesn't really mean anything unless I find a musical way um, to relate to others. And um, these are sort of inspired by Bill's playing. So um, oftentimes we need to really differentiate between linear versus double stop combinations between the snare. So. track, um, Pat Metheny does a lot of really sophisticated, um, like micro offbeat phrases that Bill sort of identifies in his unique way. So I'm going to play some of those phrases and I want you to see where I kind of get tripped up. Uh, hopefully not, but you'll probably hear that I do. but basically what I'm trying to do is um, while playing time and this is the most important thing um, can I differentiate between linear and double stop patterns and can I be able to play ideas on the downbeat and at a moment's notice play them on the offbeat as well um, without changing the quality of my sense of time so um, these are just this is just something that I work on and and really working on my independence gives me tools so that I can be more successful with this stuff. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> 